Scott Miller. I'm the Director of Energy and Environmental Programs at the Voinovich School at Ohio University. I've always had an interest in, in understanding uh, the interactions that humans have had uh, have with the natural world, um, wildlife and things of that nature. I went to, uh, to college and, and, and uh, started taking some science classes and realized that this was something that I had an aptitude for, that I was pretty good at. I realized that I wanted to use those talents to, uh, in some way. One of the big complex projects that we're working on right now is the impact of climate change on the state of Ohio. I interact with a lot of scientists, a lot of engineers, but I also work with folks in the business sector. I also work with policymakers and the ability to interpret the science so that they understand that the scientific knowledge can lead to economic advances. That's what we're trying to do here. It's obviously important to have an analytical mind and to understand how to quantitatively view data and interpret the information, but then to layer on top of that an understanding of how you use that information, how we can work more in sync with nature and still continue to provide for the standard of living that we all expect into the future. That's extremely important. We do a lot of of uh, data collection, whether it be air quality or water quality. We have a whole program and, and, a, and a set of principles that we use around what we call data visualization, um, visualizing complex data sets. We've got a project where we're measuring um, particulate matter, dust and, and things in the air, and we can display um, that particulate matter, really fine stuff that you can't even see. We can measure that, then we can display that information and show where there are large concentrations of, of particulate matter or dust and soot. So you can actually get into almost like forensics where you can get a, you look at the information and you say, wow, there's a big spike of certain, a certain type of pollutant right here. I wonder what, and then we can go back and try to figure out where that came from and, and why it was. And, and so uh, the measurement techniques are very precise. And then to build on the mapping of that information is really important and, and it helps tell a story about what's going on in our region. We have worked with state agencies for almost 20 years now and local, local citizens too to clean up streams, and we have a stream to the west of us here called Raccoon Creek that has now um, many miles of, of stream that are cleaned up and there are fish in streams that have never been there before. Um, and that is a particularly exciting moment when you look at the information, the data, and realize that 20 years worth of work is starting to pay off and these streams are starting to recover and, and there will be families who can go fishing in the stream that were not able to fish there before. That's a really exciting. Now, one of the things that, that I tell people in, in the work that I do, it's important to have a really deep understanding of your particular discipline, you know, the area that you're going to study. It's also important to have those skills to be able to work in collaboration with others. The, the best thing to do is to be a skill seeker and a skill developer um, and so as a person, you will have a set of skills and talents that you can then apply to whatever your future job may be. Employers are looking for um, folks who can bring a, a whole variety of, of skills. A, a solid grounding in the sciences is necessary and important. Have a goal, have an understanding of what you're interested in, uh, whether it's wildlife, whether it's energy, whether it's water and try to learn as much as you possibly can, both formally in school and informally outside of school. Talk to professionals, read newspaper articles, read books, never stop learning. Get outdoors and start to understand the natural environment and you will identify opportunities. So we are at, the, at a crossroads in, in Ohio and, and in, in the United States and, and worldwide and how we generate energy. Those transformations are happening on a daily basis right underneath our feet. And being involved to a small degree in, in steering that course and, and working with policymakers and working with agencies, working with businesses, and, and working with the students who will become the workforce of the future in that energy field, um, that's a very exciting, uh, exciting moment.